Hi there! Thank you for sharing out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of my series on uh, app to test explainers, tips, tricks, and techniques. And I thank you all for uh, your subscription to this uh, YouTube channel. Nito. If you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. This is uh, part two of our series on radicals. I already talked about radicals before. If you haven't seen the first video, yung simplifying radicals, click right here because it will be hard for you to understand this video if you haven't seen that yet. So, but all you know before you watch this. This time we're going to talk about operations now. Alright, so I'll see you in a bit because I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how. Okay, so this is part 2 ng ating series on radicals. Today, we're going to talk about adding and subtracting radicals. Again, if you haven't seen the first part, watch it first kasi mahihirapan kayo to catch up pag kinin nyo pa na palaod yun sa mga gagawin natin today. Ito yung first natin na uh, example. If you have the workbook, again, page 11, go there. And uh, this is number, I believe, 3 on the workbook. So, you can follow along. So, the question is, square root of 7 minus square root of 7 plus square root of 7. Um, ang uh, clue dito to better remember it is that the same rule sa polynomials, okay, apply, same rules apply sa radicals, okay? What do I mean by that? Before we answer this, I want you, you to understand this muna. Okay, ang, polynom ang polynomials kasi are exponents. Okay, ito yung merong, yun yung kaya, x squared, right? Yan yung exponent niya. And the way that you deal with numbers na merong, eh, with uh, questions na merong ganyan, plus or minus, or plus x, 2x, yung mga ganyan rules, everything like that, kung paano mo add or multiply or divide ng polynomials, that is also the way that you deal with radicals. Okay? Bakit? Kasi ang radicals is just basically x raised to 1 half. Okay? So, pag x raised to 1 half, ibig sabihin yan square root. Okay? Yan ang equivalent niya, square root of x. Pag x raised to 1 third, the equivalent niya is cube root of x. So, ibig sabihin again, same rules sa polynomials na apply sa radicals. In this case, you have uh, square root of 7 minus uh, square root of 7 plus square root of 7. If if masakit sa ulo ninyo, tingnan yung mga radicals like that. Kasi nga naman, di ba, parang ang komplikado kasi radicals ang tingnan ninyo. To figure out kung ano yung gagawin nyo dyan, palitan mo muna. Okay, in your mind, let square root of 7, for example, be A. Kasi ang 7, wala na rin tayo magagawa siya kasi factor siya, 1 and 7 na lang, right? So, ibig sabihin, wala kayong pwedeng labas dun sa payong. So, uh, if you look at it, you can, ting pwede nyo siya tingnan as, as positive 1a minus 1a plus 1a. Okay? Again, this is just in your mind, just so you can figure out kung ano yung gagawin ninyo sa radicals. Okay? So, what do we do pag merong a minus a plus a? Diba pinagsasama-sama lang natin yung pare-pareho? So, pare-pareho naman silang A, so pwede mo silang pagsama-samahin. You have 1 minus 1, which is 0, plus 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang answer dito would be A kasi na-cancel ito. Kasi plus minus. Okay? So, ang ginawa lang natin, diba, is basically pinagsama-sama natin sila. Ang apelido niya, ang first name is yung number. Ang last name yung letter. Sa case ng radicals, same rules apply, pero ang first name niya is yung invisible 1 dyan sa harap. Yung last name niya is yung square root of 7. This becomes the surname. And the same rules apply. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? 1 square root of 7 minus 1 square root of 7, this will be 0, makakancel. Plus square root of 7, the answer is square root of 7. It's that easy. Okay? Again, ha? Isipin niyo yung apelido lang yung radical. Okay? Para pwede mo silang pagsama-samahin. Example, hirapan natin na onte. Sa so number 4 yan sa so these with me dun sa workbook ninyo. If you have the workbook number 1, no? Ito, medyo mas complicated na onte kasi may figures, may numbers na at saka meron pang uh, pwede kayong gawin sa loob. So, you have negative 3 square root of 99 plus 5 square root of 99 minus square root of 99. So, what do you do? Iko-combine natin yung concept na inaral natin doon sa unang part at saka yung kanina kong diniscuss, yung first name, last name nating technique. Pagsasamahin natin siya ngayon. Sa cases na ito, since ang, yung square root of 99 pa ulit-ulit lang naman yan, 
Okay? Ganun yung ginawa natin dito, di ba? If i-factor natin siya to figure out kung ano yung numbers na pwedeng ilabas. You have 9 and 11. Kasi 9 times 11 is 99. Yung 9, pwede mong hatiin pa. 3 times 3 is 9. And meron ka dito na dalawang 3. So, ibig sabihin, pwede mo siyang mailabas. So, the answer, ay, yung square root of 9, 99 will, will turn into 3 square root of 11. So, what, anong ibig sabihin niya? Yung 3 square root of 11 niya, equivalent ng bawat isang square root of 99 dyan. So, what do you do? Negative 3, okay, times 3 square root of 11 plus 5 times uh, 3 square root of 11 minus 1 times 3 square root of 11. Okay? Ang gagawin nyo lang, again, same rule sa polynomials. Di ba pag polynomials, kung papalitan natin yung square root of 11, kung gagawin, let, let uh, square root of 11 be y. Ganyan. This would be negative 3 times 3 y plus 5 times 3 y minus 1 times 3 y. Ano yung ginagawa natin sa, sa mga polynomials, sa mga monomials pag ganito? Negative 3 times 3, di ba? I-multiply natin yung common na term, tapos kukopihin natin yung nasa, nandito. So, this would be negative 9y plus 15y minus 3y. Ibig sabihin, kung ganito yung ginagawa natin sa polynomials, ganun din ang gagawin natin sa radicals. So, magiging negative 9, kasi pagsasamahin mo yung negative 3 times 3, tapos kukopyahin mo yung last name niya, which is 11, plus 15, square root of 11, kasi 5 times 3, minus 3 square root of 11. And the next thing you're going to do is just look at yung mga uh, first name nila. So, negative 9 plus 15 is uh, going to be plus 6, minus 3 is equal to 3 square root of 11. Yun yung answer mo. It's that easy. Again, para hindi kayo maguluhan, at hindi, hindi kayo mataranta pag nakakita kayo radicals, isipin ninyo na para lang siyang polynomial. Same rules apply. If you master your polynomials, kaya yun ang inuna kong didiscuss. If you haven't seen your series on polynomials, I I'm going to link it up here para makita nyo din. Kasi kung ano yung rules sa polynomials, yun yung nangyayari sa radicals. Okay? So, I want you to try this for yourself. Okay? Try this muna, and then uh, hit pause, tapos balikan ninyo ako. So, hit pause now. Okay. So, medyo challenging yung question, but I really did that so that you can try it out for yourself. Ang uh, ayoko kasi mangyayari sa inyo is you keep watching the videos, tapos parang um, sometimes kasi meron tayong illusion na pag kaya din napanood ko na, okay, naintindihan ko na. May feeling tayo na naintindihan natin. Pero actually, hangga't hindi nyo siya nagagawa by yourself uh, and nang wala akong wala, wala kayong pinapanood um, you wouldn't know if alam nyo na talaga and pagdating sa exam, syempre diba gustuhin ko man, hindi ko kayo masasamahan dun so you really have to know how to do this by yourself so, try natin to 2 square root of 60 plus 5 square root of 45 minus 3 square root of 30 okay, so this is a little bit trickier kasi iba-iba yun nasa ilalim. But again, same rules apply. So, we have 2 square root of 60. Yung 60, di ba marami tayong pwedeng gawin dyan? So, i-factor muna natin siya. Pwede siyang 6 and 10. Okay? Tapos, itong 6 na to, pwede maging 3 and 2. Yung 10, pwede maging 2 and 5. Okay? So, uh, what would happen uh, doon sa sitwasyon na to. You can see na meron kang dalawang 2. Right? So, ibig sabihin yung dalawang 2 na yan, pwede mo pa siyang ilabas. Okay? So, 2 times 2 square root of, and then yung natitira, ang natitira ay 3 and 5, i-multiply mo lang siya ulit. Pag sasamayin mo ulit siya, magiging 15. So, I'm sorry, bubalik. Okay, so, ibig sabihin nun, 2 square root of 15, equivalent siya sa square root of 60. Okay? So, edito muna tayo sa una. Plus, and then, tira natin itong 45. So, 5 square root of 45. Pag -hiwalayin, kung paghihiwalay natin siya, magiging, uh, pwede siya natin siya gawing uh, 9 times 5, right? Tapos yung 9 would be 3 times 3. 
Again, bottom na to, dulo na yan. May dalawa kang 3, so yung dalawang 3 na yan pwede mo ilabas. So, ang mangyayari ay magiging 5 times 3, kasi lumabas siya, square root of, kung ano yung natitira, which is 5. So, you have square root of 5. Okay? And then, the next one, we have negative 3, square root of 30. Yung 30, pwede rin natin paghiwalay yan. Pwede siyang gawing 6 times 5. And then, this would be 3 times 2. Okay? And, pag tinignan mo, meron ka pa bang pwedeng gawin? Wala na. Right? So, ibig sabihin, wala siyang pares-pares. Ibig sabihin, wala kang pwedeng galawin dyan. The answer would still be negative 3 square root of 30. Okay? So, this would be 4 square root of 15 plus 15 square root of 5 minus 3 square root of 30. And then, that's it. That's what you do. Uh, wala ka na kasing pwedeng galawin kasi lahat naman sila nasa dulo na nung kanilang factor. So, you can just arrange it. Pwede mo simulan sa negative 3 square root of 30 plus uh, 4 square root of 15. Okay? Plus 15 square root of 5. And then you have your answer. Okay? So, again, ang susi dito is to remember all of the things na tinuro ko sa inyo and combine it together. So, make sure that you have a solid foundation on this. Sinisimulan ko yung mga theories like this kasi may time pa kayo to study. So, you can still build up on that. Again, if you have a workbook, make sure that you practice using the exercises I posted below. Okay? Alright! I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. I would love to learn kung ano yung mga natutunan ninyo. So, if don't be afraid to comment down below. Lalo na kung meron kayong request ng topics that you want me to talk about. You can always reach me through my Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for any questions like that. Or, if you're interested sa ating workbook, Okay, in the workbook page 11 dito radicals, if you want to follow along with the exercises below, you can turn to page 11 if you already have this. If you don't, you can reach me through my page to find out how you can get one of these. And if you are planning to attend a review uh, event para do sa March na exam, I'm going to be uh, holding a two-day review event, sat two Saturdays on February 4 and 11, 2017 sa Enzo Ortigas. So if you are interested doon, reach me through my page para malaman ninyo kung paano kayo makaka-join. God bless. Adyo-adyo kayo niyan. Keep learning, keep believing, keep praying. And God bless you all.